hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can break through our pdf file into different pages so we added a page break here we created this page first and then we created this on the second page so today in this video we are going to render our images into our pdf file so it's more tricky than simpler one so let me show you the previous video where we are rendering this image and it is it's displaying like this image not found so how to uh, make this workable for you okay how to make this work so let's uh, close this out and uh, i'm shooting this uh, full series in the step by step so hope you are learning a lot from this series so let me go to the project and in the project I'm going to render uh, the index blade not the test blade in the previous we are rendering the test blade so here I'm going to render the index blade and in the index file so let me close this test here I pasted a uh, image URL so I pasted the server side image so let's go to the bootstrap and here there are uh, this image path is exists so it means that this server path is uh, this is a uh, this image is uh, will be loaded from the server so if i click on this generate pdf and yes it's uh, open so let's click on this and uh, our image is there so it means that we are now able to uh, generate uh, we are now able to load this image so how we are able to uh, able to load this image so before this we are having uh, an issue that uh, when we are setting our GD library so GD library is responsible for opening the images so basically it's uh, going to convert our images into base 64 so you can also read out, uh, read out from there that why we use uh, GD library GD lib and PHP so it's going to tell you that why it's going to use so GD library open source library used for creating PNG JPG and commonly used to generate your graph and thumbs fly so it's going to GD you are reading content and manipulating the image it's mostly used for the images so how I enable this so let's go to your bar and here you need to type CMD so open the Chrome uh, command prompt and here you need to open your INI file, PHP INI file. So how to open this? So let's type php.ini and hit enter. So it will open the PHP INI into your text editor. And here you need to find the GD. Find next and this gd extension would be there so if you are using laravel 7.1 2 3 or 4 so it would be uh, gd.so or gd.2 right and if you are in the latest version which is uh, php 8 so this would be extension equal gd right so you need to just uh, remove uh, for before now it will be look like this a semicolon is added before this extension so you need to just remove this semicolon and then this GD library is going to work. Remember that you need to restart your server before uh, after changing this uh, INI file. So I restarted my server and uh, remember that in my case it's not going to work. Why? Because I did not uh, restart my PC. So if uh, this uh, is still uh, in happening in your side, restart your PC and it's going to work like a charm. Okay, let me exit this from this terminal and generate this PDF again. So it's going to generate the server side image into the project, right? It's generating. So how to render a static image here, right? So I'm going to add a static image. So remember that uh, you don't need to call the asset method here why because it's never going to stop it's going to process uh, your file and your uh, it will throw an exception that your uh, time is exceeded your uh, server side execution is uh, time is exceeded so how to display the image here so you need to call the public path public path and then you need to define your image inside this public path so here you need to set your image path 
it will locate to this public directory of your project so let me open the public directory and in the public directory i have this laravel.png right so if uh, in your case it's uh, different so you can add the directory name here so if, uh, if i go to the public directory and uh, in the public if i add this images directory so if uh, your image is added in the image directory you can add this uh, from this images from um, the images slash and then your image path right so it's totally same as laravel laravel way okay so now we are rendering this so uh, static and yes it's executing maximum execution time error so let's enter and we are going to generate the pdf and uh, our pdf is generated and remember that why it's showing the uh, older one because our pdf is uh, downloaded and it's uh, not going to ex uh, refresh the web browser that's why it's behaving like same so if you open this out here so now it's not going to display the existing one because it's not loading the web browser and yes our image is loaded with the uh, static uh, image great we are successfully able to do this if uh, in your case it's still not going to work how to make this workable so let's go here and uh, let's me close this out and here you need to uh, made, uh, uh, do this three or four steps first you are going to uh, do this uh, basically you are going to convert it into base 64 and then you are going to use uh, uh, here base 64 image so how to convert this into the base 64 image so i will shoot this in the next video so next uh, in the next video we'll learn that how to do this so i will meet you in the next one bye bye